Hey, what's up YouTube? Bearded Techie here with a new-ish tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to enable the integrated graphics alongside your PCIe graphics in the Asus ROG BIOS. That's right, it's very similar to a video I made a few months ago where I demonstrated how to enable the integrated graphics along PCIe graphics, but in that video, I demonstrated on an MSI motherboard. In this video, I'll be demonstrating on an Asus ROG motherboard. And the BIOSes are pretty different and the process is very similar, but a little bit different. And so I hope this will help you guys out a little bit. And I know you guys want to use that quick sync feature. So first, let me begin by saying this video applies to Intel processors only. And it also applies only to those of you who already have a PCIe graphics card installed on their machine. So let's just double check and make sure you've got that. So right click on the start menu, go to device manager, go to display adapters. Make sure you should see only something that says like Nvidia GeForce or AMD Radeon, something along those lines. And you should not see anything that says Intel UHD. If you see something that says Intel UHD right here, you already got it enabled. So don't worry about it. So the next thing to do is to get into the BIOS. You're gonna close this out. You're gonna restart your computer and hit the delete key until you get into the BIOS menu. And I will see you guys there. And this time I'm going to be recording with a nicer camera and you guys will be able to see all the selections I would make crystal clear. And if you have any questions about any of the selections I make, please leave it in the comments below. I read all the comments and I will make sure to answer any of your questions promptly and courteously. See you guys in the BIOS. You should come into a menu like this. If you're not into this, if you don't go into this menu a lot, you might come into it and it'll look like this. If it looks like this, don't freak out, it's okay. Just hit F7. F7 will take you to this menu and you're good to go. Once you're in this menu, go over to the Advanced tab. Once you're in the Advanced tab, go down to System Agent Configuration, hit Enter. Once you're in System Agent Configuration, go down to Graphics Configuration, hit Enter. Go down to IGPU multi-monitor, hit enter. Go to enabled, hit enter. And then for primary display, if you're like me and you have a PCIe graphics card, I want that as my primary display. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to PCIe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit F10, hit okay. So once you get logged back in, go ahead and go to the start menu right click, go to device manager, and we're just confirming that you got your iGPU settings enabled. Go ahead and click display adapters, and now you should see your Intel UHD graphics 630, or something along those lines. It depends on which processor you have. So once you see that, you should be good to go, and all your quick sync functionality should be there, and you'll be ready to uh, start encoding and using all your multi-monitor functionality. All right, guys, thanks. Really appreciate your views. And like I said, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I read every single one of your comments and I will respond courteously and promptly and as fast as I can to help you guys out. All right, thanks, bye. 